Hey Tangerinis, if you're new to our channel, my name is Jordan. I'm Maddie, this is Alaska, and we are Tangerine Travels. If you're unfamiliar with our story, we sold everything we owned about a year ago to start traveling through Mexico. At that time, all we could take with us was whatever fit in our tiny Prius C, the compact version of a Prius. That was two big suitcases and two little suitcases, this little lady, and whatever else we could cram into the car. At this point, we have just about visited every state in the country, still have a few more to go, and dozens of cities from the north to the south and the east and the west. <laughs> and every climate you could think of. Yeah. When we first started traveling, we had a vague idea of what we thought would be super useful or what we should totally leave behind. After a year though, we figured out very quickly what is a total waste of space and absolute junk that we thought was going to be uber important and also things that we had no idea would be quite so useful and have turned out to be lifesavers and necessities. If I saw this video back the day we started traveling, I would have thought future us is crazy. <laughs> Future us is crazy, but... <laughs> anyway, anything we include in this video is not sponsored. None of these companies have any idea we're about to mention their products, but if you want to buy any of these for yourself, we're just linking all of those down below in the description, including the banking tip we have for you. The links that we're going to include are probably going to be affiliate links, meaning if you make a purchase from those, we get a little bit of commission, which goes a long way to helping us continue to make videos and travel. The first thing that we think is an absolute travel essential is something I previously thought was a 100% gimmick, as in something that they would convince you to buy because it's a pretty good price and then you wouldn't actually use it. But packing cubes are your bag's dresser. So when traveling, nothing else is going to keep it organized. It will end up, no matter how hard you try, being a disorganized mess. And so packing cubes are a lifesaver. We just recently combined our two big bags into one, so we only have half of it in packing cubes, my half. <laughs> but this makes everything so much more organized, keeps everything separate, and keeps sanity for me anyway. <laughs> the next thing we use every single day, it's an absolute essential, is a foldable hamper. How does this work? Like magic. And then fold it up. It's super easy to pack, takes up very little space, is really light. It's something that you don't think about, but when you're staying in a place for a long time, what are you going to do with your dirty clothes? Just throw them against the wall? Pretty much, yeah, if you don't have a hamper. <laughs> and this is by far the coolest and most useful travel-friendly one that we've ever seen. Despite being pretty affordable, we've had these for almost a year, using them every day, and they've held up very well. So one thing we brought with us, thinking that this was going to be super valuable, was a Garmin, something that we thought would help us from driving city to city in places where there wasn't cell reception. We had suspicions that maybe Google Maps might not work very well, or it might take you on weird roads or not know all the roads. This was not the case. This ended up being pretty much just a piece of junk to us because Google Maps works perfectly fine. It takes you on the best route, the one with toll roads, which are the safer roads to take. So it's just totally not necessary. In place of that, we would recommend getting a physical map, something that we should have but don't, so that in case Google Maps fails or your phone dies or something crazy goes wrong, you still have a map to help you get from point A to point B. Another travel necessity is a high quality suitcase. I learned this one the hard way. I got a suitcase from a brand that I wasn't familiar with, although it got some good reviews and I liked it a lot at first. It just didn't hold up. After a couple months, it was ripping at the seams. But Maddie, on the other hand, got one she absolutely loves. <laughs> this was also from a brand I'd never heard of, Kenzie. And I don't think that brand's even known for making luggage, so I kind of went out on a limb with this one. Because you thought it was pretty. Because I <laughs> liked it. it it's, it's very stylish looking, these two bags. It came in a set of three, but I sold the middle size one. It has lots of pockets inside. It's pretty cute as well. Very durably made. And both of these suitcases have, I don't think, any flaws. And they have taken a beating. We've been in desert, in cold, in beach, everywhere, upstairs, down elevators, just like everywhere you can imagine, and pretty much no signs of wear and tear at all. So this is something, the suitcase I think is worth an investment. If it costs a little bit more, but it's going to last longer, 
very worth it, very necessary. And interestingly, after we got them, I thought mine was going to be the one that would hold up and <laughs> yours was going to fall apart. You gave me so much crap for getting these. Like, oh, they're pretty, but you really want one that's going to hold up in the long term. <laughs> you win some, you lose some. <laughs> One thing we thought we would use all the time and we never use is an umbrella. It's kind of ironic right now because it's raining, but... It's been raining all day here in San Cristobal. Yeah, even when it's rainy though, we just don't use it. We just run from one destination to the next or run into the Uber or wherever we're going. And even when it's sunny, we don't use it to shade ourselves. So, although it's raining right now, this is something that we're going to get rid of and it's just a waste of space and has been for the past year. Vasca. What's that? Is that an umbrella? <laughs> Something else you might not think of is how are you going to get cash, especially if you're in a foreign country and using a foreign currency? Well, the best way to do it, the way you're going to get the best rate with the most convenience is getting a Charles Schwab account. Why Charles Schwab? Well, they refund all ATM fees. There are no foreign transaction fees. It's the absolute best bank account you can get for traveling. There's no minimum monthly balance. There's no monthly maintenance fee. It's awesome. One thing I forgot to mention about Schwab, Schwab. is <laughs> if you go to Mexico and you want to get pesos, the best way to do that is to get them out of an ATM. If you bring dollars to Mexico and go to an exchange store, or money exchange, you're going to be losing like 10%. And that is a freaking lot. If you have a $2,000 a month budget and you lose $200, wow. that, that's a lot of money. But if you withdraw the money from an ATM using a bank account that doesn't charge foreign transaction fees and refunds all ATM fees, you can turn that from about 10% to less than half a percent. With Schwab. <laughs> with Charles Schwab. So I exchanged my Husky for a different Husky. Wow. <laughs> if you're curious about Charles Schwab, <laughs> I can't, I can't not. Um, we're gonna put a link in the description for you. If you meet certain requirements, you can get a hundred dollar bank credit, which is really cool. We don't get anything, but we're just gonna put that there so you can get some money in the bank. What was that accent? Oh my gosh. <laughs> okay, so the next one on the list is this lady. We love traveling with a dog for all the benefits that a furry companion offers and also for traveling it is nice to have the peace of mind that our little fluffy lady is at home and people are much less likely to break in somewhere where there's a dog <laughs> some guard dog you are <laughs> <laughs> so in addition to her being a great security system, she's also great for traveling because Laska is one of the best conversation starters you could ever have. <laughs> this would not be a travel essential if you don't have a dog, but if you do, a lint roller is an absolute necessity. We stay in Airbnbs all the time and these really help not only keep our clothes clean, the car clean, but also the places we're staying clean. If she happens to jump up on the couch or something, we can just wipe it off and... Stick it off? Stick it off. Sticky it off? <laughs> Sticky it off. <laughs> Pretty affordable, doesn't take up a whole lot of space, so we got a big pack of these at Costco before coming here. And we've yet to finish one single gosh darn roll, Jordan. <laughs> <laughs> we have like five partially used rolls because we just don't finish them. Because you just opened new... Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> Something we didn't anticipate before traveling was that not every place is going to have air conditioning when it's kind of needed. And not only that, even places that don't have air conditioning sometimes don't have fans. We have stayed in places where it's 95 degrees outside, there's no AC, and then we're just dying of heat because there's no way to cool off. No and fan. And there's no fan. Yeah. No fan. Yeah, so we ended up getting this guy. It is a USB, but we've attached a wall plug to it, a USB fan, and in places where there's no air conditioning at all and no fans, this is amazing to have and we feel like it's an absolute essential because at night, especially when I'm hot, I just cannot sleep. I can't sleep at all. It makes a world of difference for sleeping if it's blowing on you versus not. This has been amazing. Last thing about this fan, we've seen a lot that are plastic, 
This one is metal and it has this really hard case. It's been totally squashed in our bag and it shows no signs of denting or breaking in any way, shape or form. So definitely recommend this guy. Something we have found to be essential in our travels is this car. It is a very, very fuel economical car. It's a Prius C hybrid. So since gas is much more expensive in Mexico than it is in the US, this has been the perfect fit for us budget friendly, budget conscious travelers. We do recommend getting the right car for you though. Perhaps you wanna do more off-roading or camping or something like that, or you have a big family, obviously find the best fit for you, but the right mode of transportation is critical. Through our travels, we found that not every Airbnb or not every rental, even when they say they have the kitchen basics, actually do. So three things that we think are a necessity if you can possibly have room for them are a quality, Chef's knife. <laughs> a frying pan, a nice one, because even the times that Airbnbs have them, sometimes they're scratched to hell and you really don't want to be eating all that rust and Teflon and that. They usually are, in fact. They, they usually are, because nobody... Do not put metal utensils on the freaking nonstick... Every roommate I've ever had has destroyed my pants, but let's not get into that now. Also, a cutting board. <laughs> even the ones from Ikea, you can have, like, this is the big size one, but there's half size, which are even more portable. I think these three, these three things have been a lifesaver in so many different situations because some kitchen knives that are provided are not even good enough to cut through a banana. One thing that we ultimately decided that wasn't right for us was our Berkey water filter. Although we still think this is the best in-home water filter you can buy. We're just traveling too much. It just doesn't make sense for us because we're only staying in each place for about a week most of the time. We have to set it up and clean it again every time we go to a new place. If you're thinking about a water filter, we absolutely recommend this one, especially for Mexico. But if you're going from place to place as often as we do, probably not going to be worth the space and yeah, frustration. <laughs> a questionable junk item or something you might want to leave are towels. For us, we do not have a lot of space in our car, so every bit of space is precious. We just haven't spent as much time on the beach as we thought we would, and most places when we're on the beach provide towels, so most of the time we don't need them. So for the rare time that we haven't had towels, it's been nice to have them. Yes. But it does take up a lot of space, so it's one of those you gotta consider for yourself. Maddie loves the whole minimalist thing. I was forced into this minimalist thing. And... Wow, putting me on blast, Jordan. <laughs> With my precious bag space, I can only have so much stuff. And I had some dress clothes, dress pants, dress shoes, dress shirt. I ended up getting rid of them after not wearing them for six months. And I don't have any plans to wear them in the future. so. That was also something that just wasn't worthwhile. We also ultimately decided that if we wanted to go to a club or we had a nice dinner or something like that, we could probably buy something that would suit for that occasion and either donate it or maybe incorporate it into our wardrobe. But I definitely do not have a pair of nice dress heels or dresses or anything like that. And if we're being honest, I think I like the idea of going out, like, you know. <laughs> going to clubs and stuff, and then I do it, and I'm like, wow, okay, this is why I don't do this. <laughs> <laughs> For the first few months of traveling, I was actually carrying a purse around everywhere, and it was around, I think, Mazatlan time, where I was like, this really is not working. It didn't feel secure. I feel like people actually target purses more because they think they're valuable. So eventually, we switched to something that has become probably the most valuable thing for us traveling, and that is my backpack. I don't necessarily recommend this one. I like it, but I think any high quality backpack is a good backpack. And what do we have inside here? We've got sunglasses, tissues, like a travel pack. Well, what used to be a travel pack <laughs> <laughs> of tissues because not every bathroom has toilet paper. So that is like, you need to have that. Uh, what else is in here? We have our camera case with our cameras in it. Sunscreen, definitely need that. We're almost always traveling with water. Bug spray, phone of course, wallet, and a few other random things like ibuprofen. Also being in new places, eating new foods that I've never had before, sometimes 
I find out I'm allergic and I get a bit of an anaphylactic reaction where I can't breathe or I'm having trouble breathing. And or you get bit by a scorpion. That's where <laughs> Benadryl comes in. I think this is an absolute necessity and we have it on us at all times. almost got rid of this thing a number of times throughout our uh -huh. travels is this it is a huge soft fuzzy blanket specifically a king size fuzzy blanket it's come in useful acting as a dog bed for Alaska something to cover the car up with or cover our stuff up in the car and for various climates when perhaps there's not enough bedding you have this and it makes an otherwise freezing night so, so nice and warm. <laughs> yeah, there's been some nights where it made such a difference. And yes, this takes up quite a bit of space, but we're not gonna get rid of it anytime no. soon. It's so soft. Another travel must have are essential oils. And I've never been a believer in essential oils. I didn't really even know about them or what they could be used for until I met Maddie. One time I had a stomach ache and she used some peppermint oil on me. Another time a headache, peppermint oil, totally went away. The stomach ache, the headache totally went away. So the three we use the most are tea tree, peppermint, and lavender. We use them every single day. And Cuts, sicknesses, mm -hmm. headaches, allergies. Every, allergies, yeah. I wouldn't travel without them. Another good thing about these, even these large bottles, and these are four times the size of the typical essential oil bottle, you can take these on the airplane, they're only two ounces. Another thing that I personally think is totally essential for traveling, and if you had told me this, I would have been like, yeah, no, every hotel, every rental is going to have this, but they don't, <laughs> not all of them, is a washcloth. So yes, every place is going to have towels, like body towels for you to use, but not every place has a washcloth. So if you don't have something like a loofah, or you're like me, I like this for washing my face, you're gonna be in a boat without a paddle. So I think having even just like a raggedy old washcloth to use for yourself that you know is clean is a really good thing to have. One more thing that we thought was going to be really useful but ended up being totally useless for us was an Amazon Fire Stick. We figured, hey, it's really small, it's really light, we'll take it to wherever we go, just plug it into their TV and connect to the Wi-Fi and get Netflix and Hulu and all that good stuff. Well, it turns out as we're traveling, we would rather go out and explore, then watch TV. We've gotten by with Netflix, occasionally we'll watch shows, but often we're literally just out doing things or talking with people, eating, whatever, not watching TV. Looking back, we would have been better off selling it on OfferUp and using the money towards our travels, but that's a decision you have to make because in Mexico in particular, electronics are much more expensive than they are in the US. So if you want any electronics, get them before you come here. The next thing on our list, I do realize, is somewhat of a necessity. However, while traveling, occasionally you're going to want to buy a bottle of wine, and you would be surprised how few corkscrews you will ever find in a hotel or Airbnb, maybe because people take them or ah, who knows, but a corkscrew, something to open your wine up with, is immensely useful, and something like this, it's pretty small, it's pretty light, something easy to travel with. But you, if only we had the videos of me trying to open bottles of wine without a corkscrew. You've used everything. <laughs> Shish kebab skewers, I've used keys, I've used forks, I've used various types of knives. Anything you could possibly think of, all it ever does is shred the cork and provide a lifetime of sadness. <laughs> <laughs> you know something that takes up a heck of a lot of space in your bag and is very heavy? Shoes. Oh my gosh, shoes. So, we have learned through our travels that it's pretty much good to just have one pair of shoes that you can walk around in every day, maybe a pair of athletic shoes and some flip-flops for the beach and things like that. Another travel must have are power banks. These things are absolutely essential, especially if you find yourself in an Airbnb without any power outlets or the electricity goes out or you just have a lot of stuff you need to charge. Like we're always having to charge cameras and phones and stuff. This has saved us on more than one occasion. I also have to comment on this, the Anchor power bank. I think of everything that I've ever bought in my life, this is one of the best purchases I've ever made. This is a lipstick style charging bank. It's really light but so durable. I think you could probably run this over with a car and it's not gonna do anything. 
something else that it turns out we use these all the time. You don't have to go out and buy these, but plastic bags for whether it's wet clothes, dirty shoes, picking up Alaska's poop, whatever. We use them all the time and we always seem to be running out despite being able to get them anywhere. While traveling, I think something that's really important is keeping your immune system up and keeping your body healthy because travel really does take a toll on you, especially if you're doing it consistently week after week after week. So something that I think is totally essential is having vitamins. And the other reason it's important to have these is because when you're traveling, this is what, something that we've found in Mexico, it's hard to get the exact vitamins that I need. You might immediately think, oh, well, I'll just order it off of Amazon or I'll just buy it from the company. But there are a lot of restrictions restrictions and regulations on what type of vitamins can be mailed into the country. Sometimes the company has to have like special permits. If you want to have them sent, you need to buy special permits and have paperwork and things like that for it to clear customs. So if you have vitamins that you need, make sure to have them and find a reliable way to get them when you need to replace them. Another item we're just not sure was worth bringing or has been worth the space is a tiny portable hair dryer. I will say that I am super happy with the performance of this little thing, and if I blew, blow dry, blow dry <laughs> my hair every day, this is the hair dryer I would want. However, in our experience, because some places have it, and because I don't blow dry my hair that often, it's kind of just been something that's taking up valuable space in our bag. So if it's something you can live without, I'd say ditch it. Something else I forgot along the same lines as a blow dryer is a hair straightener and I think even though I used to use this probably like three or four days a week back in the US, once we started traveling our time is better spent going out and exploring, seeing new places, studying our Spanish and things like that and so in the morning doing my hair, curling it, straightening it is just not as important. I'm hesitant to get rid of this because it's a chi, kind of an expensive straightener and to replace it if I ever needed it would be kind of out of the question, so this is another thing. Think long and hard about it. I'm still questioning why I have this. <laughs> We think all of these tips are really going to help you out in your travels, but perhaps the most important thing of all is even if you were to clone every single thing that we own and go out and try to do the same thing that we're doing, you're probably still going to think that some of it is junk and some necessities are missing. So the best thing that we can recommend is go out and do this for yourself. Travel the world, explore, learn. Travel is just such an amazing thing for opening your mind to new perspectives, food, culture, people, language. It's incredible and that is what it's really all about. Well fellow tangerine travelers, we hope you found lots of valuable information in this video to help you with upcoming trips. If you think someone else might enjoy this video and get good information out of it as well, please share it in on Facebook, in your WhatsApp groups, Twitter, Reddit. I don't get Reddit so share it there because I don't know how. <laughs> Alaska, stop tap dancing. Stop at the clicking! <laughs> subscribe to our channel. <laughs> so you can see our upcoming videos here in Mexico currently. We are in San Cristobal de las Casas, Chiapas. And one more thing. Gong that bell so you get notified the next time we put out a new video. Yeah, we will lick you there. No, we will not. No, we will not. Oh my god. <laughs>